<laughs> ah, yes, welcome back to Fallout 3 in the very much just impeccably pristine city. Uh, well, is this a city? We're, we're in Megadon, that's the main point. Now, last time I said I would do a short recording, and that turned out to become not a short recording. But this time, we're going to actually attempt a short recording. Alrighty, Miss Moira Brown. What's it's time up? to get this Anything book started. Interesting out there in the shut, shut up. Time to do something about the book. This last chapter is about radiation, right? Yes, that's what I need your help on. I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning so I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. So this is all about, like, a fictitious, unimportant part of the chapter. Um, let me see. You want me to get irradiated? How could that possibly be worth it? Oh, don't worry so much about it. I'll be here waiting with a nice tall glass of rad cleansing Brahmin milk for you when you get back. Well, mostly just a whole lot of rad X and rad away. And maybe even a more reliable way to get rid of radiation. Assuming it works, of course. Okay, well this should be an easy payday since radiation doesn't exist. Oh, you're a peach. Or at least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. How would you even now, know what a peach 200 is? 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness. But if you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. Yeah, Just yeah, sure yeah, you a bunch of fake stuff. And I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. Um, yeah, sure, whatever, whatever, we got this. Now let me tell you something about trying to make short episodes. The problem is, I just have no idea how long these quests are going to take, so I'm just like, oh, it'll be a short episode. And then it takes about an hour and 20 minutes to get the uh, the quest done. Now, I remember how to do this one. I remember back in the day playing Fallout 3, and I was basically like, how do I get radiation quickly, especially because it doesn't exist? And the answer, it's actually quite simple. You just got to get in the water, like this, next to the bomb, and then drink the water. So, so you know, we're getting, like, two imaginary stuff at once. But if we also drink at the same time, we can, we can get, like, even more imaginary stuff at once. So this is all we got to do. Okay, so, um, here, I just got to hold the A button down. There we go. There we go. Look at look at it. Look at it crank up. 20, 20 imaginary and a per second. Oh yes, this is the this is the way you do it. We're gonna be getting that payday. It, it won't even it won't even be a thing. There we go. I think that should be it. I think each one is like two hundred. Let's see. Is that good enough? There we go. See, I, I feel fine. I look fine. I feel fine. Never been better. Never been better. Like, wow, I can't believe you guys were worried about the radiation. Moira, give me my payment. I did your, like, fake superstitious BS. Oh, feeling a bit under the weather? Or a bit over the Geiger counter? <laughs> yeah, um, what, what is... What it was to say. I'm about as fake as I could be without being a fake, fakety, fake, fake. I can tell. You're positively glowing. No, now, nothing's happened hold to on me. and try not to move. Tell me how it feels, and I'll get you fixed right up. Um, feel, feels like nothing? You know, like, where, why isn't that one? Just do your examination. Whatever, I'm just gonna, like, I'm, I'm doing the charisma option. Ooh, I feel fine, see? Never better. It, it doesn't feel like anything. Oh, you poor dear. Putting on a brave face like that. Well, don't worry. It'll all be better. And it's for a good cause. Now, let me take a few notes, and I'll handle that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade rad cure concoction. I've never had a chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed, oh, but, but I'm sure it'll work out fine. Exciting, isn't it? I'm not worried. I'm not worried. A little Brahmin milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few happy thoughts. Well, you're alive. Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny tiny, um, mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. Here, take a few radiation chems, as my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. 
I, I, nothing happened. It's like there's an ex unexpected side effect. Nah, that's crazy. Now when you suffer advanced radiation poisoning, crippled limbs automatically regenerate. Don't believe it. Like, I would never want one of my limbs. I'm not a starfish. Like, dude, none of this is real. I'm not just going to regenerate. Don't believe any of it. Is the first chapter done yet? It definitely is. I'm trying to put that same great sense of humor you've got into the book. Keep it up, and it'll inform and entertain. Hey, Here, sounds like the channel. Services, I've saved up quite a few stim packs. Of course, you may need them. We've still got two more chapters to go. As long as you're paying. I'm ready to start researching. The second chapter is going to be a bit trickier, I think. It'll cover how to handle creatures out there, for better or worse. For example, repelling mole rats, uh, learning about mirelurks, and when all else fails, how to handle being injured. Mm. So let's buckle down and get to work on this chapter. What's first? Uh, let's just go with the first one. That's the one that jumped out at me. Tell me more about repelling mole rats. Mole rats can burrow into almost anything and cause a lot of trouble. So I figured I'd make a chemical repellent stick for people to shoo them off. But I need it to be tested before I put the recipe to paper in the guide. So I need you to find some mole rats and test it out a bit. Okay, that sounds pretty easy. I don't know if handling weird chemicals is safe. What's it worth to you? Don't worry about the chemicals. I handle them all the time while experimenting. And I'm perfectly fine. Aren't I? Sounds logical. How about I let you have the leftover chems I used to make it? Heck, do a thorough job and maybe I'll let you keep the repellent itself. Man, you, uh, you've you got a lot of chems. I mean, I get it that you're a trader, but you got a lot of these. Yeah, I'll do it. It'll be easy. One tap with the applicator, and it overwhelms their senses with a sort of feel-bad sensation. Then they're gone before you know it. You could test it out on just a few mole ratties, but for real testing, try it on ten or more. There should be plenty in the tepid sewers downtown. Um... Do you, uh, have you, oh, okay, good. She gave me the, um, she gave me the, what do you call it, the location. That's the main thing, like, without locations, I'm basically I useless. Got, I, I, Anyways, welcome to Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous, where, I mean, here's my crib, yeah, you know, looking pretty sweet living up here in the town of Minefield. Wow. Figured I would show you some of the weapons we found in our salvaging. Starting with, uh, we, okay, we got our, you know, our laser pistol. You've already seen that. Uh, but here's the laser rifle. This is the one that we found from the, um, the, the Enclave guy. I'm not going to use it, though, because we don't have any replacements for it. Then we got ourselves a, a missile launcher. Uh, where did I find it? Well, it was in Greyditch. There just happened to be one. The condition on it isn't too good, though, so I'm just kind of hanging on to it until we can actually restore it oh not that yet uh here's the repellent stick of course you know uh it's a stick so you know i, I know a thing or two about hitting things with a stick but uh we also have ourselves the uh the ripper i only found this in marigold i believe this the uh the metro after looking through it we built the rocket launcher but um it's also not in very good condition so i'm gonna have to like you know just hanging on to it until we can restore it a little further. Um, our silenced pistol is actually in pretty good shape. I'll be carrying it with me. Just, you know, we've got plenty of ammo for it as well. And do I not have anything in the top corner? Oh, yes. And, of course, the old, ye old sledgehammer, which I've become quite fond of. I like this weapon quite a bit. Anyways, let's find it. Where is our objective at? It's, oh, I see. It's right over by the tepid sewers. Looks like it's a little bit of a jog from the Super Duper Mart. Better organize my inventory before I go. And this looks like the place, the tepid sewers. Let's see what we got in here. Okay. Looks like, oh, wait, that's a little a little too deadly. We're just trying to give the little mole rats a... What, 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 there we go. Now, you know, I'm not going to lie. I have strong memory. Well, maybe not strong might be too big of a word, but I remember how this quest goes. Hmm. I thought it would... There we go. That's the effect I was looking for. Yes, yes. The uh, the good old exploderoni. I remember this quest. Oh, God. Oh, God. 
I don't remember there being this many of them though. There we go, there we go. Holy crap. Like we're getting a little bit excited there, you guys. Like I didn't I don't remember there being that many of them. Of course, we won't be satisfied unless we you know we're, we're going the distance. Oh ho! Ah, be hit with the stick. I want these real quick. I mean, I'm going to come back and loot this area more thoroughly later, but for now, what what is this? It's locked? Oh, there are t Oh, but we have a way around that. You see, our skill with science is 47, which means if I put on Lesko's lab coat, which gives us 10 science, we can now uh, disable our own -y. Thanks to my genius, and definitely not anyone telling me, uh, about ways to do things better. Apparently, I can do this, which I definitely learned completely on my own and did not get any help at all, and no one taught me this at all. I, I just I, I just always knew this. I was just pulling you guys' leg. But you can do this to... Oh, here's another one you can do. Uh, oh, I thought... Hmm. I'm pulling a fast one on me. Anyways, uh, murderous? Four out of nine. So I'm gonna say that the four out of the nine are the R, the O, the U, and the S. So let's see if there's anything else that is okay. I'm probably completely wrong about this. <sighs> let's let's do a word that has nothing in common. Yeah, that, that has nothing in common. I, I don't know. Ah! Oh, it was ransacked. I definitely did not completely guess through all of that. I, I definitely just figured that out the smart way. Um, reconfigure targeting parameters. Uh, was that a bad idea? Yeah, let's just disable the turrets because I don't want them to... <laughs> new ad... <laughs> I don't want them to accidentally kill all of the, like, mole rats because, like, you know, we gotta... Oh, and of course there's this. I need to start increasing my lock picking. Let's go ahead and leave it right here. We need to get that lock picking going. And I, I don't know, um, repairing... Let's just put some points into there. Continue. Um, what else are we going to... Well, there's all... Hold on a second. I got to read all these. Okay, so I think I want more intense training because these allow us to, like, level up our, like, super major characteristics. And that's going to let us get our meaty man arms, which is, like, the perfect combination. Like, if we're smart and we're sexy, and then we've got, like, the dynamite body, then, like, everyone is just going to worship me, and I'm just going to become the ruler of the wasteland by default. I'll be the only person in the entire game that isn't ugly. Now have at you, mole rats! I am here to get my bonus payment, and that... I didn't kill you. I didn't kill you. I didn't kill you. Who did that? Who's trying to eat into my bottom line? Who's doing this? Where does this... Why is this place like a... Yeah, at you! Da! <laughs> How much is your meat worth? Your meat is worth about four caps. Yeah, not including, like, whatever their cheapskate, like, price that... Ha ha Yes, yes, yeah. I mean, I guess we're gonna have mole rat tonight or something. I bet there's actually some pretty good stuff in here, but like I said, I'm gonna come back and do that later. I think this is a dead... I keep thinking that there's some way to sprint in this game, but I just don't think that there's any way to... Oh, God, I'm already lost. Wait, let's... I If I haven't had opened it up yet, it must be... Why aren't you dead? Who's cutting into my bottom line? Someone else is in here killing the mole rats, and it's not me. Huh. Oh, that's a landmine. Oh ho! Where does this go? Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! What was that? Let me mash the button. It's rock salt. I'm being attacked by an atomic element in a mineral form. That is most unexpected. There is only one answer for this kind of treachery. Fool! Oh, this, this is a bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. Okay, first thing we need to do. Oh, daddy, give me, give me the good stuff. Give me the good, the juicy juice. And now I'm just gonna shoot this up. And now I'll make you suffer for your transgressions. 
now! Oh, I'm gonna, oh my god, I'm gonna make her suffer in like, in slow motion. Yeah! What? What? I, that was supposed to be a joke. I didn't think that a combat shotgun, a key, that was on, on, ooh, look at all these mines. Wait, give me, oh my god, I gotta move your body out of the way. Get out of the way, like, stupid, like, mineral deposit. I need to, like, here we go, amp shotgun sales. Where is, I don't even understand. That, oh, see, because of our previous experience, we're able to apply what we learned for fun and profit. Oh, I hear something behind this door. I'm going to be super sad if there's like a landmine, because I'm just going to charge in there. Roar! Roar! Okay, there was, there was no landmine. Oh, I do want meat, though. You know, I, 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 in the back of my mind, I was like, there's got to be something else in here slightly deadlier, because, like, the mole rat is not a super deadly... <laughs> Especially when I can explode your face! Yes, very nice. I was wondering if they would sneak something in there. Something unexpected. I hear voices... And they're not the crazy kind of voices, they're the, oh god, who's that? It's a raider. Hmm, yes, I guess you're like an improvement over sentient mineral rock softball. Now suffer my wrath. Yes! What? Nothing? What in the world? Did I catch the 5%? Yes, yes, yes! You are next! Yes! Super extra violence mode. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. I put all my stuff back in my... Back in my sweet pad in the town of Minefield so I could just, like, mash the button and loot everything. Huh. Found a terminal that allows me to unlock things. Now, I could have used the key, but I wanted the extra EXP, so... Went ahead and... Oh my, it appears to be a supply room. Most interesting. See, this is the example right there, the foot locker. I could have used the key, but I will come back for this stuff at a later time. We need to continue our adventure through this mole rat kingdom. Interesting. Found a little area with a workbench. This is where you can actually make various things. <laughs> Gives me once I saw it, I immediately got some like a mixture of like dead space deja vu and uh, dead island just because of being trapped in a combination of these repetitive looking hallways with these side areas with a workbench. Uh... Interesting. This area appears to terminate into a metro system. I'm gonna go ahead and reveal it on the map. Hopefully there aren't a bunch of bad guys on the other. Okay, where where am I? Um, world map, please. Oh, really? Well, I was wondering if it would be a little bit of a shortcut, but alas, it is not. Oh god, it's an ambush. I wasn't ready. Oh god, she like... She's like, Wusham Googled my face! My face has been- Wait, how do I, like, specifically un Wusham Google my face? Okay, hold on a second. You guys need to, like, play fairly. Like, I don't even have the right weapon out, so I need to, like, go ahead and get this out, just like that. There we go. And now I'm going to give you the Wusham Google. Yeah! Oh my god, it does so much. I, I, it's so violent that my character can't even, like, bear to, like, look. Even though I've got, like, a face that would, like, protect me from the carnage. I'm gonna go ahead and loot your buddy. Hope you don't mind if I, like, go ahead and loot your buddy while, like, in the middle of combat. Um, just go ahead and let my action points recharge. You gonna come forward? Oh, he is. Come forward. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Th that's it. I'm done playing fair. Or, I mean, I'm now going to play X. Wait, my aim is so bad. I need to shoot, I guess, the most at the thing I have the best aim on. Left arm. Quack. 
No! Why didn't your arm turn into like... No! Um, apparently I need to... I, I'm going to use... I need to use... Fist attack! Fist attack! Fist attack! Fist attack! Yeah! Yes! Yep, yep. Oh, these guns? My gu guns are like... It's like low tech and primitive. Like fist is the solution. Now I see this is where they are. Li Ooh, what's in here? Oh, okay. I'm gonna come back for all this later. I I'm just gonna go ahead and like go ahead and take like a one hour power nap to like eject all of the bullets from my body and refill my blood real quick. Okay, so I just checked out this area to the side. Looks like there's some lootable stuff in here, but I think we have finally cleared out both the mole rats, and the human rats, too. Moira! Let's talk! Oh, I can't wait to hear how the repellent's working. Um, okay. Oh my god, I'm so conniving now. I can just... <laughs> um... I tested the mole rat repellent extensively. Oh, excellent! Substantial field testing, precise reports, and such dedication. <laughs> what more could I ask for in a research assistant? Mm. So, how did my chemical repellent work? Safe and clean like a charm, I'll bet. Let's see. We could say, sorry, Moira, but your repellent is fatal. It appears mole reds have some most fatal allergy to it explosively, so I don't believe this is as non-lethal as you expected, to put it lightly. It's like explosive whack-a-mole. Can I get it in bullet form? Let's look at the... Like, we, we, we're, we're just so sexy and charming. Oh, dear. All of them? Well, uh, I don't think I could water down the formula any further. With that much testing, I guess it's beyond correction. <sighs> Uh, go ahead and keep it. Maybe you can find a nicer use for it. Yeah, it didn't right? work on people, unfortunately. Oh, but for your trouble, uh, uh... Here, have the leftover chems from working on the repellent. I'm sure you can find some use for them. Two jets, so they're made of, like, what What do they... Oh, and Psycho. So I don't know, like, I guess they that makes... Take too much of it and your head explodes? Yeah, probably, actually. Um, yeah, let's take a break from the research. Well, we'll be right okay. on that. Yeah, I was about to begin my, like, outro, then I'm like, oh, no, I still have the, um, the lab coat on. Is that why I was taking so much damage? Damn it! So dumb! <laughs> Anyways, I said it would be short, and I made it because, oh, I want to go to sleep on time tonight. Anyways, hope you enjoyed fighting... I guess raiders and mole rats and like sentient mineral rock salt deposits. I'll be in there to go excavate whatever we find. Hopefully get some ways to restore the interesting things we've got. And until next time, subscribe to the channel for more Fallout 3 content. Like the video, do the you know, do the YouTube things, and of course remember that you don't have to be good to get good.